for bot for sure. Yes. Oh, let me make a thumbnail real quick also. Hey, uh, brothers, after your fist. Tell me out. Okay, yeah. Do the okay. thumbnail real quick. Nice bit now. Do the thumbnail real quick. Yeah, sound is good. Okay. Um, give me one second. Change the thumbnail. Yes. Is it good now or what? No. Huh? What the sound? What the stream? Oh no no no! <clears throat> I didn't uh, I didn't click something. No no, it's fine. It's good now. Okay. All right, let me one second. You're going to Shabbat uh, class. Yeah, yeah, I put it there. Okay. So, all right. All right, uh, ready, everyone? Come. Come all right, Shalom. Shalom. I want to start off with giving all praises, all honor and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Ufelek. I'm the brother Hananya, here with uh, the brother Yashar and Tamayat. And I uh, hope this video will be edifying. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now, <clears throat> me, well, the brother Yashar was uh, talking about just just brother brother talk, basically, what brothers talk about. And uh, one of the things he said was uh, how you go to how you go to work. You know, you go to work, and he also wanted to basically go into a. a, a uh, learning experience where you go fishing and stuff like that you know people le uh, learn you fishing and then like you you have to think like most people don't even think like that man you know Mo hey Esau Edom doesn't even teach you how you should fish how you should cook you know how how, how you should uh, uh, look after yourself how, how you should uh um, 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 yeah, look, look after yourself, your, yourself, how you should be fit, you know, how you, how you should make money. What's the efficient way to, to sustaining yourself, to make money, you know, knowing how to hunt, you know, those, those things, they, they don't learn you those things, man. You know, they don't learn you those things at all. And at school, especially this generation, what they learn you is. Yeah, it's okay to be weak as a man. Yeah, it's okay to be feminine. Yeah, it's okay to, you know, if you if you like the, the same gender, basically. It's okay to do those kind of things, you know. Oh, you, you don't want to listen to your parents? Yes, it's okay. It's okay. You know, you just in your in your in your face right now, in your young, young face. And that's why that justifies why you should not listen to your parents. And that's why that justifies why you should be disobedient to your parents, basically, man. And Isa Edom, he put that whole system up to to it's where like most people are brainwashed and the the norm of now, like it's normal now to be disobedient to parents. It's normal now to not know how to make your own food, how to go fishing, how to go hunting, how, how to how to how to be fit, you know? Most people think like it's not even 
most people think it's not even beneficial to be fit, man. You know? Can I but, add something uh, to it? Yeah, uh, man. Yeah, it is also because the things that they put in your food, uh, this is systematically is uh, poisoning the people all over the world. Uh, you can see it also when uh, 2020, uh, after uh, when the, uh, the pandemic hit, uh, a lot of people get obese. Mm. And you know, and that is so, this is all by design. This is not uh, something that like, hey, oh, it just happened because yeah, people was in a lockdown and sitting at home and was starting getting fat. No, it is uh, certain things that they put in your food because this is all planned this is all by uh this is all by design to do this uh to uh, have weak people because uh if you in a war because you need to see this a lot of people don't know but we are at war you know so if you are at war how's the best uh to 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 swoop on the on the people is if you have weak men you know your females are are, are done for it you know they are completely holes and and destroyed you know, so you can swoop in, you know, as the men, if they are weak and fat and they are not fit, you know, you, 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 you can easily swoop in, man. And so and then you can dominate everything, man. And this is the way they set, it, they set this up, man, because we are at war and a lot of people don't believe that we are at war. This is, yeah, 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 Ukraine. And, uh, no, we are at world. The World War Three is already started, but because people can eat and still have have a certain things people be like oh yeah, yeah everything is good i can eat and yeah i still live in i can go to my favorite soccer game no 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 we are at war the elites declare war against us man and a lot of people don't see that man gone they put it uh, comfortable they make everything so comfortable for you you know even <laughs> yeah. in the south if you go to the south most people don't even shower warm man you know, they don't shower warm. It's a comfort to be showering warm, man. You know, normally you should be showering cold, especially Isa Eden even goes into the benefits of showering cold or taking a, 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 a let me just say, a, a cold shower. I don't want to say fully cold, but just body temperature shower. You know, that's, that's, that's A. But anyway, also the medicines... In, the, in, in these medicines, they also put a bunch of bullshit to, to the point where you start gaining weight and stuff like that. So it's all set up. Esau Edom set it up perfectly to basically destroy this whole generation. So can I get uh, I say can, can I say something? Huh? Yeah, man. Yeah, because when you have also the sugar, uh, there's a video that's right now that you see on uh, a rat. You, they give him cocaine and they give him sugar. And the rat don't he doesn't want to eat the, the cocaine or drink the cocaine, but he wants the sugar. And mm. Esau is putting in every, in every kind of food, he puts sugar in it. Even if you have the tea, the tea uh, bag, then you have, they put sugar in it. So they make you addicted to sugar, but that's also going to get you more, uh, going to get you more heavier, going to get weight. And a perfect example is Venezuela. When the time uh, when the, the the problem started that the people cannot eat what did they do they were starting eating their own flesh mm -hmm. that's, that's the same thing what is in the time what you see where, where where you need survival because if you don't know how to survive what you're gonna do you're gonna eat your own flesh you're gonna eat uh, yeah. it goes back in uh, into cannibalism because you're gonna eat uh, people's gonna eat each other man yeah yeah. And, and for quick scripture on this, Baba uh, Kachaf, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 64, verse 6. They search out iniquities, they accomplish a delicate search, both the inward thought of every one of them, and the heart is deep. Mm -hmm. This is Isa either, man. They yeah. search out iniquities, man. Uh, like the brother was going in through with the rat, the sugar, and the, the cocaine. This is how they do the test. They 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 search out like oh, because Esau is very cunning. That's why he's wiser than Daniel. He's very cunning, you know. 
he, he's that serpent in the garden, man. <laughs> you know, yeah. don't forget yeah. it, man. You know, he's very cunning. So he searches out iniquities. He knows the, the color schemes. He knows about the taste of uh, bugs. Like, oh, oh, hey, they, uh, people going to like this because we are going to add it in the, in the food. So you'll be like, oh, you're going to get addicted like McDonald's and all this garbage, man. Yeah. They know what they are doing. They search out iniquities, man. That's why the heart is deep. You know, and the heart goes in the mind, and that is in the Hebrew la'ap. You know, they go in fairly, they are, hey man, Isa Edom is the, the, the snake of the, in the garden, man. You know, so that's why we see all these things that he is creating all these traps, because I call it traps. There's all these traps they are creating for the people, man. And if you're not like us, rooted in the scriptures and know what's going on, hey, you're going to fall for the okie doke, man. <laughs> that's very true, man. Yeah, man. Can I get Micah two and one? Karnak. Yeah, man. It's basically that's it, man. You know, and that Micah, that Micah goes hand in hand with that scripture, man. Because Esau, Edom, they 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 the most high made them to do evil, man. The most high created good and he created evil. You know, that's just that's just they just have to play that part of the movie. And then be destroyed after a thousand years, you know, That's after right. a thousand years of hardcore slavery. You know, the scriptures talk about uh, it's a righteous thing to recompense tribulation on them that trouble you, you know, which is Esau, Edom, as well as these other heathen nations, because they also had a part in our slavery. And to this day, they have a part in our, our, our slavery, too, man, you know. You have these Arabs, these these Moabites, these uh, Ishmaelites, these Elamites, Japheth, all putting up stores in in uh, Jake neighborhoods, and stores to profit off of basically the slavery, man. Because why why you go to Jake neighborhoods? That's already fucked up. It's already ghetto. It's already you know down it's already grimy why why you go to those neighborhoods you go to those neighborhoods to to profit out off of them man why don't you go to rich neighborhoods you know gated communities and stuff like that why you don't go there you know y'all all had a part in in a man in our tribulation so can I get the uh, mic? A quick thing. Yeah, man. Karnak, a quick thing. Like the brother is saying, uh, that's that's the fulfillment of Deuteronomy 28, you know. Yeah. They shall lend to us, and we ain't gonna lend to them. You know, yeah. we we're gonna set up uh, we cannot set up shop no, nowhere, man. And uh, I was in uh, in the States, I went to uh England, I went to a few places where uh, are mostly gigs, you know, gig neighborhoods in Brooklyn. You see, only the, the Moabites, the Elamites, and the other nations have his stores in the neighborhoods where Jake is, man. And I was mm. like, hey, this is... And then I didn't know really for, uh, of the truth. But then I was like, hey, man, this is a common thing. It's in Suriname, where we are from, in uh, Curaçao, in Jamaica. It's yeah. all the same thing. So yeah. if you're going to put all these things together, then you're going to see like, hey, man. And if you know the scriptures, I'll be like, now, hey, man, that is part of the curses where we're under, man. This is the curse that Yahweh by Shem Yahushat put us on the man. That's why these 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 other nations, these heathen nations, set the shops in our neighborhoods, man. Because you cannot, you like a gig, you go uh, to uh, an Elamite of a an, uh, an, uh, Moabite neighborhood and set up shop over there. You can look what right. they're gonna do, man. They go <laughs> beat your ass, man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they also know because Jake uh, spends money and. Back in the days when we had uh, Black Wall Street, the money was in our community. Mm -hmm. And Jake will know how to provide and to build with each other. But mm -hmm. then they went off by following the philosophies of the of our enemies. That's why we are now spending also in their neighborhoods. But back in the days, we, we had our own money. We were making money with our own with our own community. And right now they That's... know we spend money. If you have the the, the Black Friday, what mm -hmm. who's the most that's gonna to spend money? Jake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jake goes out. Oh, mm -hmm. there is a discount. Let me buy this thing. Let me buy a new TV. Well, your ass already had a new TV, but you want the newest one because it is cheaper. Jake yeah. spends money on that. That's why the the uh, our enemy uh, Amalek knows what what they doing. Call it Black Friday. They know Jake can spend money. 
And here yeah. you have Jake already living from paycheck to paycheck and still want to spend money. Yeah. Even yeah. if we broke, we still have money. That's true. And well, like the brothers also saying about Black Wall Street, uh, it was not us our time because we were under the curses. That's why. That's why uh, uh, we didn't succeed to uh, to have our own things, you know. So the most I broke that whole thing down. That's because uh, Jake can really do everything by himself. The whole state is built by Jake, man. Like mm -hmm. Egypt was built by us, you know, because mm -hmm. we are those people, the salt of the earth, man. Without us, there is nothing. But yeah. now we built everything free for free to for all these heathen nations, man, that they can uh, profit of it, you know. So Jake, yeah. we're still under the curses, and our only thing, what we, uh, what is for us now, is to go back to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, so that these curses can be lifted up or, or, off us, man. You know. And yeah, um, man, that 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 Black Wall Street thing, which was actually Jake, Jake profited a lot off of it, and Isa Edom had to take that shit down. But it's also that breakdown of uh, Ezekiel thirty-seven talking about the dry bones. You know, Jake came together, but not under the name of Yabashim Yashai. So that's why it got knocked down. It got destroyed. Yep. You know, yeah. but there's going to come a time, which is now, which is coming, where Jake is going to come together and under the name Yabashim Yashai, which mm -hmm. is going to be the elect, you know, the elect, the one third. And that's actually, that's actually the breakdown of uh, Ezekiel 37, man. You know, Yarat yeah. is how we go next time we go into that because it's actually a very good uh, uh, a chapter with a yeah. lot of meat on it. Yeah. But that's one of the things, uh, Black Wall Street, man. That was one of the good examples, man. You know, you had the Black Panthers also. You had mm -hmm. uh, um, all these, all these, all these groups that came together as uh, as all these groups that came together as one. Right, Jake, Jake, Jake groups, but they all got destroyed, man. They all got put down, knocked down because why? It was not under the name Yao Bashim Yashai, it was yeah. uh, under uh, uh, carnal names. You know, you even had yeah. the people that was in those kind of groups trying to upset the system, basically, man, trying to upset the system, meaning they tried to uh, become mayor of, uh, of, of that, of that, of that region, you know, try to. Uh, uh, change stuff because Jake was going through shit. You know, Isa Ido was mm -hmm. treating them like shit. That's why. That's why Jake was marching and stuff like that. And basically, you had some Jakes trying to uh, going up in the high, high, high ranking system from uh, Isa Edom to change things from within. Man, you know, basically you have yeah. your your burgemeester. I don't know how to say that mayor. Yeah, or something. it's a mayor. Yeah, it's a mayor. Yeah. And uh, can I say something about it? It, yeah. You know how this all uh, went? It was because Jake, uh, uh, of the Prince Hall Freemasons, Jake went uh, after the the, the, the the walks of Amalek, you know, and to be like uh, uh, Esau. And that is where Jake always going to fall because we are under the curses. It is not mm -hmm. our time to be standing on the, on the ladder, on the top of the ladder, you know. So what Jake was doing to become mayor, uh, like Martin Lucifer King, you know, he was a boule and that's uh, we call them boule members, you know. They were all boule members, you know. They was the one that uh, ha uh, have their uh, Freemasons. If you see all the so-called stars, they are all Freemasons. Why? Right? They sold out, man. That is what is going on. Jake, uh, in order to get to that position, Jake need to sell uh, sell themselves out, man. And all these so-called superstars, these uh, black pro prominent uh, <laughs> uh, figures, they all all sold out, man. Because why? They are in the Prince Hall Freemasons uh, masonry, you know. They do all kinds of things to please Esau, like the Black Panther, the brother was saying, was also infiltrated, you know, because I read everything about it by Amalek, man. Because there is always an uh, uh, Amalekite who's behind it, you know, controlling and pulling the strings, strings yeah. like yeah. you know. And this is what is going on, man. Until the day of today, in the rap mu in the in the music business, everywhere where you go, man, he, uh, Amalek is pulling the strings. You know, yeah. so Jake, that's why Jake has no continual city like in the scriptures, man. You know, yeah. and we're going to have one where the new kingdom is going to come, man. You know, yeah. can, can I get uh, Ezekiel 37 and 10? We're going to we're going to we're going to go into it, man, because yeah. like the spirit, you know, it had to be brought up. We had another topic, but, you know, the spirit <laughs> has to go how it has to go, you know, so we might as well break that thing down. 
if I can get Ezekiel 37 and 10. And hey, you can read your scripture up, Amar. Uh, Proverbs 3, uh, 3 and 31. Empty thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. For the forward is abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. Right. Don't envy, don't envy the oppressors, man. You know, the, uh, another scripture also talking about don't envy the wicked because you don't know where their end is going to be. Meaning you don't know how they're going to be destroyed and the way they're going to be destroyed. You know, don't envy your oppressor, man. You know, you should so. be glad. You should be. Um, what is that word again? You should be grateful that you won, that you are Jake even, man. You should be grateful that you are Jake. And then set, well, actually, first, you should be grateful that you're in this truth. You know the mysteries of the Most High Yabba Shai. Matter of fact, I'm going to get that scripture right now. And then secondly, you should be uh, 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 happy that you are Jake, man. That you have a chance to, to salvation, man. Mysteries uh, uh, of, you know. Let me, let, me get that, this, let me get this scripture real quick. Um, I've also yeah, me too. I have a precept also on what you was reading, Ahmad. Uh, Ahmad. No, Can I bring it out? It. Yeah. This is a Psalm chapter uh, 73. Uh, first, uh, let me start with to the, uh, straight to the point. Verse 3. Uh, For I was envious at the flourishing when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For they are the, uh, for there are no bands in the dead, but the strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Hey, they living good. Yeah, man. Oh, you wanna, you wanna? Yeah, th th this is exactly what the brother was reading, man. You know, because uh, uh, this is ASAP. He was uh, envy at the wicked because he was weird. Hey, like we are seeing, like, hey, Esau is, hey, all these other nations and these heathens, man. Hey, man, they listen it up. They listen good. You know, mm -hmm. there is no, even the, you don't see them die at a rapid rate like Jake is. You know, Jake is dying by sickness, uh, violence, by everything, you know. But they, hey, they live it up. They have, they have their uh, white picket fences, their houses. Everything is going well, man. And you'll be mm -hmm. like, hey, man, how is this possible? You know, mm -hmm. and Asaph had the same thing. Like, hey, man, but, but they are wicked as hell. You know, they they don't have uh, love and honor and respect for Yahweh by Shem Shai. They treat the earth as shit. They treat uh, everything, the whole nature, they treat as shit. And you'll be like, hey, man, don't, don't, why those people are, are still, you know, uh, uh, have everything, man, and living live it up, living in luxury and, and, and have all the things in the earth because why Yahweh by Shem Shai gave them a time. He gave faith and showing favor to the wicked, you know, and that is what it's all about. They are showing favor. But this is going to come to an end very soon, man. So that's why what the brother uh, Hanaya was saying, that's why, you know, you don't know how the, death is, the end is going to be because the latter end is going to be horrible, man. And we know that through the scriptures, man. You yeah. see? Can someone check the stream, Babakisha? Because I think, uh, yeah, my, my, my PC is like freezing. It's, it's Satan. But can someone check the stream if, if everything is still alive? Because your face is like both of y'all. Are, are like freeze on my uh, screen. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Everything yeah, is good, man. Kind of. Okay. Yeah, man. On my screen is free, so I can't Shaker. even close tabs in, in in on my on my thing, and I can't open anymore. So it's probably that I'm not gonna restart it because, or else we're gonna have to restart the whole stream. It's not needed. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Actually, I had that Matthew. Is it here? Is it here? Yes, it is. Yeah, this Matthew chapter 13 and verse 11. He answered and said unto them, because it, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. You see, it's given to you to know the king, to know the, to know the mysteries of the kingdom, man. The show you should be grateful. That first and foremost. And secondly, you should be grateful that you are Jake, man. You know, because you have chance of salvation. Unlike these heathens, so why envy the heathens that don't have shit? You know, they don't, they won't have nothing. They won't, those riches that they have right now, it ain't going to be everlasting. It's, it's a time, it's a ticking time bomb on them. And for you, hey, if you're of the elect, it's going to be everlasting, man. That said the Bible, that said the scriptures, man. 
you know? So, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Precept? Yeah. Uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Right. You are chosen to be, you You are a special people unto the Most High Abashim Yashai. The Most High chose you as a people, Israel. He chose Israel. To be to be his 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 Adam's apple, to be his fa favorite apple, man, the apple of his eye, basically, his favorite, you know. So, hey, man, he chose us over these heathens, man. Don't forget that, you know. Sometimes it 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 doesn't it doesn't uh, hit or or you forget, but you should actually be very grateful that the Creator of all things loves you as a people, man. Love every single individual that is a Jake, man. Because I believe it was the prophet Jeremiah that was saying, um, um, he, he was saying, he was saying like, uh, basically the most high said to the prophet Jeremiah, like, do you think you love, you love, you love my people more than, uh, than I, mm -hmm. you know, but, um, yep. yeah, man. I had also a precept what you were saying. Something? Yeah, because he was talking about the, these riches, man, that, uh, you know, they ain't profited nothing here on the earth, man. So I had the precept on that. This is Matthew chapter 6, verse 19. Lay not for, uh, up for yourself treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. Mm -hmm. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Mm -hmm. Yeah man. yeah, man. Don't don't lay don't lay up treasures upon earth, man. You know, don't lay treasures upon earth because anyone can 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 steal that brand new Lambo that you have, that brand new Mercedes that you have, and anyone can do that, man. You, hey, the Most High can take your spirit away like that, and then where is that Mercedes? That Mercedes is still on earth. Your ass is in heaven. You what, what you what like? Hey, man. But that's also like pride pride that comes into people that think like they 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 have uh, everything and stuff like that they have the riches so they good they don't need the most high you know lay but lay yourself uh, lay for yourself up treasures in heaven you know make those videos multiply your talents do what you got to do as a man of the lord as a servant of the of the most high abashim rasha as a prophet do what you got to do if you got a talent to to make videos make videos man if you got a talent of uh, uh, of dreaming you know, spit dreams to brothers, man. Make sure those those dreams being heard, man. You know, Effort. multiply Effort. multiply your talents so that you you the most high is pleased with you, man. Don't 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 uh, uh withhold your talent, man. You know, don't don't keep your talent back. Because in Matthew it says, uh, thou thou slothful, thy thy wicked servant, man, you know, which is that servant that that knows his his lord's will but doesn't do it you know and um yeah you had something uh, me out? yeah i had the other piece upon that on matthew this is uh, the book of sirach chapter 5 verse 15. uh no let me start with uh, 13. there is a sore evil which i have seen under the sun namely riches kept for the owners thereof to their hurt you see you but those that. riches perish by evil to fail and he began at the sun, and there is nothing in his hand. As he came forth of his mother's womb, naked shall he return to go as he came, and shall take nothing of his labor, which he may carry away in his hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see? Yeah, yeah. you go on, so, you go on. Yeah, you can speak on it. Though. Yeah, man, you see? So you, 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 he came with nothing, man. And naked, <laughs> you call, you call, you're going to go away with nothing, man. Because Yao Bashim Yao Shai, he's the one, if he please, if he wants, who gave you riches on this earth, man. And like we was going into the book of Matthew, chapter 6, uh, verse 19 and 20. If riches, man, on this earth profited nothing, man, you know. So mm -hmm. you can labor very hard for everything. you greedy. you be like, hey, you know, you want to keep your riches. Hey, man, you're going to, you naked, you can, you're going to go away naked. You can take nothing uh, uh, back to the kingdom, man, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. 
Hey, Amat, you have that uh, Ezekiel 37? Yeah, I have it here. Oh, you have it? Okay. Yeah, I have it, Doc. Can, uh, can, can this... Amat get it? Yes, yeah, can, Amat. 37 and 10. Come. Ezekiel 37 and 10. So I prospered, uh, prosper, uh, prophesied as he commanded me, and the, the bread came unto them. And they lived and stood up upon their feet, an ex exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dry, and our hope is lost. We are cut off from our parts. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus said the Lord Yahweh. Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, O my people, and uh, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves and shall put my spirit in you. And ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. Then shall ye know that I, the Lord, have spoken it. Uh, I, the Lord, have spoken it, and prefer, prefer it, saith the Lord. Yeah, man. You know that bread, that bread, that that bread came into came came into uh, into them. Meaning, there's no that that proper bread. You know, there's no no longer Jake was calling themselves uh, Black Panthers, Black Stone Rangers, you know, the Brown Berets, you know, the Young Lords. It was Jake was coming together under under the name Yao Bashim Yashai, and Jake was coming together as Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Ephraim, and Gad. You know, they was coming together as uh, Hebrew tribes, basically knowing that who who they are. You know, no more calling themselves Black Panthers like like um, we we talked about earlier. You know, Jake was calling themselves Black Panthers, Black Stone Rangers, basically all those things, worldly things, and not coming together as the as the as the under the name of Yahabashi Mashai, and that's why they got knocked down, put off. You know, the Most High isn't with them. Hey, that's that's also shows you like if the Most High ain't with you, you nothing, man. <laughs> you know, you're nothing. You know, you are literally nothing, man. So, um, can you read it one more time about Kesha? Ezekiel 37 and 10. Just Ezekiel 37 and 10. Yeah, man. And that exceeding army. Oh, you oh yeah, you have it. Okay, okay. Yeah, Ezekiel 37 and 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the bread came into them. Right, that they, that no, knowing that they knowing that they Israelites, you know, coming together under the name Yahabashim Yashai. That's that bread, that bread of life. You know that bread. They know now. Okay. Came unto them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet. And exceeding, uh, exceeding great army. Right, and the first one, the, the first ones that that woke up was the tribe of Judah, and then the tribe, the, and then um, with the tribe of Ephraim, you know. But first was the tribe of Judah, you know, the southern kingdom, and then you had the Ephraim, the northern kingdom, man. You see, and that exceeding great army, you know, that exceeding great army is. Uh, so this is a certain portion of these bones that received the true true breath and stood upon their feet. So can I get uh, Revelation 11 and 9 real quick? I should have already uh, asked that actually, but it's like, yeah. 11 and 9. 11 and 9, yeah. Revelation 11 and 9. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days. And the half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. Right. 
you know, that dead bodies, which is 350 years, you know, to be put in graves because they didn't give give them rest, but Yao Bashim Yashai did. So, uh, first 11? Uh, and ef and after three days and a uh, half, the spirit of life from Yahweh entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them, which saw them. Right. Th this is when it happened, you know, because when when you go back, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, the southern kingdom, you know, was already brought in prior, you know, on, during the 1600. Uh, so like, yeah, 1619 to uh, 1620, you know, is where the bulk of slaves came in. The, a, a lot of slaves came came into America, you know. And after this time period, that 350 years, right? That 350 years, um, that's when the truth really start flourishing, man. You know, that's from from 1969 to till 19, well, from 1969 1970. That's where the truth really start flourishing, man. You know. So can you read it one more time, Ak? Okay. Yeah. Start, start like I want to start it with Abba Biffins. Yeah, I, w I was, I was, I was, yeah, I was, I was gonna say that because 1917 was the time where our elder Abba Biffins started, uh, mm -hmm. you know, broke down that Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, mm -hmm. and broke down that uh, uh, that tribe chart who who the real Israelites are. And since then, that truth really started flourishing. So can you read it one more time, Babaksha? Revelation 11 and 11. Yeah. And, and after three days and a uh, half, the spirit of life from Yahweh entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them, which saw them. Right. You know? that. So the truth, 16, 19, um, 16, 1969 to 1970, that's where the truth really started flourishing, you know, and that spirit of life, you know, entered into them, meaning that was uh, that breath that quickened it, meaning quickened it, meaning uh, making to life, you know, because pr prior to that, we, we weren't we weren't alive, man, you know. So this truth started flourishing and basically uh, we got quickened, man, after 1970, you know, and great feel fe f great fear fell upon them, which saw them. Meaning these elites are scared, man, you know, that they see Jake, the man of the Lord on the highways and byways week in and week out, you know, prophesying, y'all going down, you know, these heathen nations going into slavery. Great fear fell upon them, meaning they were scared that, hey, they were scared like, hey, they know that they're Israelite again, you know. It's no longer the Black Rangers, the, the Black Panthers, the, 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 the. Uh, the the young lords, you know, it ain't no longer that. It's Yao. It's under the name Yao Bashim Yashai, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, you know, Ephraim, Manasseh, Asher, Gad, you know, Naphtali, you know, you name it, man. Reuben, you know, under those yeah. names, Jake came together, and that's why. You can they they cannot knock down uh, 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 this truth, man. The scriptures talk about hey, you cannot That's knock down this truth, you? man. You know you cannot knock down this truth, and it's it ain't no longer the black rangers, the black uh, uh, panthers and stuff like that. It's the name Yabashim Yashai under the name Yabashim Yashai, so it's never going to be uh, uh, destroyed or silenced. You know the scriptures talk about you can do nothing against this truth, but for the truth. You know, but you had that scripture, Ak? I appreciate uh, appreciate for you. Wait, wait, Ak, 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 Yeah, yeah. Real quick, before, before, before you get this piece up. So basically, uh, the the elites were scared. The elites start becoming square, scared. Great fear fell upon them, which saw them. Meaning, these elites got scared. You know, because Jake started to know who they are again. And so meant so long, Jake. So long, Jake. Um, so long, these elites looked for ways to keep jake down you know to not let jake know that they did that, 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 that they israelites man do not let the so-called negroes latinos as well as native americans know that they israelites man you know starting from the elders and apostles on down this truth starting uh, uh be begun be begun to to flourish man starting from the elder abba Biffins on down you know this truth 
flourish, man. And now that breath, you know, that that breath, we we got quickened, man. You know, meaning quickened, meaning being brought back to life. You see, so now we know who we are again. Now it ain't no longer uh, coming uh, coming under under these weird names. It's Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Gad, Manasseh, Ephraim. You name it, man. So yeah, you had a scripture act. Gone. This is Mal Malachi chapter four, verse uh, five. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great day and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. So right. Elijah the prophet is uh, about business, man. He sent Elijah the prophet a reincarnation, if you believe in that, because a lot of people, if Israelites too, they don't believe reincarnation. Oh, reincarnation! You, 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 you must be from the Indian belief or something like that, mm -hmm. you know. But now, man, he came back and he, uh, we strongly believe that he was uh, Elijah the prophet, man, and came back to turn the hearts of the children to the fathers, man. And what that means? That is these dry bones that we were going into, man. He turned us back, man. That's why we know who we are now. Now we have the 12th sign chart. You know, we got these two sticks, you know, and prophesying against uh, Babylon the Great. And Esau's afraid, man. They see like, hey, man, shit, hey, oh, man, whoa, oh, what's happening, man? They know who they are again, man. Hey, and they've spent billions, trillions to keep us down, man, that we not know who we are. Call yourself, yeah, I'm an Afro-American. Two continents, you know? Yeah, Americo Vespucci, and you call yourself Americo Vespucci, and you call yourself um, um, Africano Scapius. What the hell is going on, man? There's are two Edomites, man. One Roman Edomite, you know? Mm -hmm. So that is that, that confusion what these people did with us, man. And mm -hmm. Elijah the prophet, Abba Bifins, took on that he's the one, he came back, man, in, in reincarnation as uh, Abba Bifins to, to turn the heart of the children. Who are the children? That is us, man, the saints, man. Mm -hmm. Can I get you know? Romans 10 and 18? Because it's, it's it, it like, basically... That's awesome, please, sir. Yeah. Uh, Baruch uh, two, 2 and 13. For I, for I knew that the... Uh, yeah. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves mm -hmm. and shall mm -hmm. know that I am the Lord, their power. For I will give them a heart and ears to hear. Mm -hmm. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name and return from their stiff neck and from their, from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember... Uh, sorry, uh, 33. And return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before the Lord. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it. And I will increase them, and, and they shall not be dis diminished, diminished. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, and they shall be my people, and I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, so the, basically the, the point to sum it up, the Most High is going to um, make Jake know who, who they are again. You know, make Jake know who they are again. They're going to come back. The Most High is going to uh, um, put away that stiff neck so Jake knows who they are again. You know, the elect, mainly the elect, because the elect is a is is going to be saved, man. You know, for the elect, the most high made the elect know like who they are again, you know, because it's prophecy, it has to happen. The elect is 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 going to be saved, you know. The most high is yeah. going to make a new covenant, you know, and then hey man, Jake, Jake new bodies, you know, Jake is going to no longer sin anymore, man, you know. Jake is no longer going to sin. Jake is no longer going going to go off because the laws are going to be written in our inward parts, man. So 
Yeah, man. Can I say Basically something? that. Yeah. On the 12 trucks uh, sign also, because uh, people, you have a lot of people that uh, take a 12 truck sign and take it like, uh, I'm a Benjamin, I'm a Levite, and they hold on to it. But it's just mm -hmm. an indication so they can relate to some somebody, because otherwise you're going to have them calling themselves, like what, what you just said, they call it, they can call themselves black people, uh, brown people, uh, I'm from that land, but this is a sign that is bringing out so that the people can relate like, hey, I can relate me, myself to this uh, people so they can build up and you, you got to know where you're from to know where you're going. Because yeah. if you don't know where you're from, then you, then you keep on spinning a, a, a lot of rounds in the world and you don't know what the end will come. And here we have the most high put the spirit of uh, on uh, the elders, apostles on down to, to bring this out to the people to wake them up man, so they can come back to the Yahweh Basham Yashai. Right. Can I get uh, Romans 10 and 18 and um, John 6 something? and 63? Can I say something quick? Because I didn't break down uh, totally the whole Malachi, uh, you know, because the, it is about the great and dreadful day of the Lord. That's why the Most High sent Elijah the prophet, uh, Abba Bivins. For what? Because the day of destruction is at hand, man. You know, we can see these times, we can discern these times that the, that the great day of destruction is coming. So if the Most High ain't turned back the children of Israel, like we was reading also that we, uh, uh, the, the promise that was made to our forefathers, you know, that he ain't saved the remnant because the remnant is going to be saved. It ain't going to be whole Israel is going to be saved, you know, then, hey, man, we're going to all be destroyed. And that is not how it is, man. We, uh, Israel uh, remnant is going to be saved, man. And that is us that are awake in, the, in uh, Ezekiel 37, that we are the one, these dry bones that now are awake, have the breath of life now in us, you know, and we are awakening. And also what the brother Yashar was saying about these two states, if you go further in uh, Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 15, then you're going to see what the Most High required of us, that we had these two sticks. You know, and that is what we do on going on the highways and byways, you know, and having these banners and these banners are uh, the, the 12 stripes sign, sign uh, chart, you know, to let us know who we are, man. You know, that we ain't calling ourselves black and you know, you're a black, you're a black man. You know, you're an Afro-America. You know how these Americans like to put that emphasis on it, you know, mm -hmm. we ain't that, man, you know. So, yeah, man, that I want to bring to the table, you know. Yeah, man, and that two sticks is uh, Judah and Ephraim, you know, God. coming together under the name Yahweh Bashim Yashai, man. That's you right. Know? So, uh, can I get the the Romans Babakasha? Romans ten. Yeah, Romans ten and eighteen. Romans uh, ten and eighteen. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, fairly, their sound went into all the earth. And their words unto the ends of the world. Salakia, can you read it one more time, Baba Kisha? Uh, Romans 10 and 18. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, fairly, their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the end, ends of the world. Yeah, man, because the words, the spirit, the spirit is doing the quickening, you know. And that, and that precept I uh, want to get from uh, John 6 and uh, 63, you know, because the, the, the words, which is the spirit, what, do, what, do, what does the quickening, you know, and quickening meaning being brought back to life, you know, we ain't in that dry bone state anymore, you know, we ain't in that, uh, 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 yeah, man, that dry bone state, you know, no, hey, not knowing you a Jake. Being a fat fuck, eating eating McDonald's, you know, not taking care of your health, stuff like that, man. That's a dry bone state, meaning a very, very low state, man. You know, a very, very low state. So, uh, can I get the John 6 and uh, 63? Okay, this is John chapter 6, verse 63. Then Simon and Peter, uh, then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast uh, the word of eternal life. Uh, so like, 63. Yeah, 63. This was 68. So like, yeah. 
So lucky out. This is John chapter 6 to 63. Uh, it, is, it is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profit nothing. The words that I spake unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Yeah, man. They are spirit and they are life. You know? It, it, they are spirit and they are life. So you can know, like, these, these Christians, right, that think they know the scriptures, they don't know it at all, man. You know? It's the spirit that brings it to life, you know? They coming up with these Christians are coming up with uh, different doctrines, crazy doctrines, things that 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 ain't even uh, being written in the Bible, you know. But you can see like these Jakes in 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 the in the, you can see like Jake has a zeal, but not according to to the Most High, not according to knowledge, man. You know, and meaning they are life, meaning and this and and this the life given force. Is the true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Most High Yahweh Shemashah of the Bible? You know, they are life. The true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You know, not these Christians reading a book and then they think it's that. No, you know, no, it's the Spirit. You know, and the Spirit makes it known unto you, like a the true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Because if it was life. If it wasn't the spirit and 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 they they are alive or or they are alive, then these Christians would know the the breakdown of Ezekiel thirty seven. They would know the breakdown of this, that, and such and such, you know. But now they say, like, oh yeah, there's going to be a dragon with uh, seven heads, literally, and stuff like that, you know. So you see, like, they don't have they don't have the true knowledge and wisdom and understanding of the Most High Abashim Hashem. Eh? That spirit isn't given unto them, so. Then again, we go back, and what did what, what did I say earlier? You got to be grateful, man, that you're in this truth, that you that that you know these scriptures, man. You know, you you should be grateful that the uh, the Most High is dealing with you, and whatever you go through right now, it ain't nothing compared to what what we gonna receive in the end, man. You know, I actually want to get Matthew 13, 13 again. Um. But yeah, man, that was one of the last scriptures that I wanted to bring out. You know, we had a whole other, we had a whole other uh, plan, a topic that we wanted wanted to go into, but it was just the spirit. You know, it had to be brought out differently. It had some, it okay. it had to go different. You know, I wasn't even thinking about Ezekiel thirty seven, but uh, this is Matthew chapter th uh, thirteen at verse eleven. He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you. To know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to the but to them it is not given. You see, so you should be grateful. To you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. You know, this knowledge, the, the true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Mosiah Bashim Yashai. To you it's given. You know, so um, y'all brothers had anything to close it off with? Uh, basically, yeah, I think it's, uh, I think it's good like that. Yeah, man. So, uh, hey, I hope this video was edifying. Uh, I wanna, I wanna start off with giving our praises, our honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, 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 Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom mm -hmm. to the whole Felek. Hope this live session was edifying. And shalom. 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 Now I hope I can close this, close off this uh, live lesson because oh, my because PC of... is like froze. <laughs> it's froze. <laughs> it's frozen. frozen. Yeah, hey, he's gone. he's and he's gone. <laughs> And we still live. <laughs> yeah, we still live. But he needs to restart it. Uh, I'll text him. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, what is beautiful, man? Come. Call him right away.
Looks like he has his phone with him right now. But basically, if we close it, then uh, he needs to close it. Yeah, he needs to close it out. Yeah. You can leave the session and then he close it. Are oh, you coming? So, he's, oh, he's coming? He's coming. He's coming back. Hey, Shawama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to it's come still inside playing. again. Yeah, we will leave the session and you can close it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Perfect. Come on. Show them. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Wait, wait. <laughs> we still, we still live? Still live. Okay. I call you, I call you. Come on. Uh, come on. We leave this session, he will... Um, he will close it out? He will close it. Kana. Kana, we'll call you, yeah? Yeah. Kana, shalom, Mark. Kana, hey, shalom, Mark. Shalom. Shalom, shalom.